These people, dressed as they are, come from all over the United States to make deals. Here in the marketplace of America, let's make a deal! And now, here's America's top trader, TV's big dealer, Monty Hall! Jay, let's bring down the register. Now, Ron, would you like to push a button? Yes, absolutely, Monty. Two hundred dollars! And let's not forget the tight ends, Ibrahim Moises and Hingle McCringleberry. They both had amazing seasons. Mortars have gathered on the steps of the U.S. Supreme Court to honor Justice Verna Thornton, who died late last night from complications of liver cancer. Despite her brief tenure, Justice Thornton was considered by many a fair jurist who was often a crucial swing vote in many controversial decisions. Down that ball, it's, it's an emergency. lives to one man. A retired New York fireman, Randall Mee, pulled the children from a burning bus that had rolled into a ravine off the Jersey Turnpike. Now, this was the scene last night as our own Sofia Martinez spoke with the hero himself. A landmark court decision, Lisa, has cyber music fans singing the blues. Fears of Wall Street tumbling when the market reopens tomorrow have authorities scrambling to understand exactly what happened when the lights went out and how our infrastructure could be so vulnerable. Unconfirmed reports now emerging that this was a coordinated cyber attack originating from servers in Tunisia and Bahrain. The question now is by whom? Our top story tonight, the wife of a highly decorated San Francisco detective was killed this morning, the victim of an apparent car bombing. Trudy Monk, a 35-year-old freelance journalist, died a short time later at St. Jude's Hospital. Her husband, Adrian Monk, was by her side. The police are pursuing several leads, but have made no arrests. Manipulator! 